unto at this very moment humbly seek for forgiveness from the royal court of the Oba of Benin, from the Benin Traditional Council and all sons and daughters of Benin Kingdom generally. Itano Edu Faga Sedu Edu Iri. It means that no one truly understands the deepness of what it takes to be an Edoma. Thanks for clicking on this channel. Please subscribe to Afo's blog history and click on the notification button so that whenever we upload a new video you will be notified. Izadawa apologizes to the Benin Royal Court of the Oba of Benin. There is a public announcement from the Palace of Oba of Benin on the 18th of October, 2023, in connection with Mr. Rizadawa's traditional marriage ceremony which took place on the 26th of August, 2023. A part of the public announcement read, The attention of the Benin Traditional Council has been drawn to a recent traditional marriage ceremony of one Izadawa Imajuan which took place on August 26, 2023. It was observed that during the marriage ceremony, Izadawa Imajuan and his groom's men were twirling the traditional ebon while dancing during the marriage ceremony. The general public should note that this act by Izadawa Imajuan is an abomination and a distortion of Benin traditional marriage process and procedures. The twirling of ebon in Benin customs and tradition is by chieftaincy title holders while paying homage to the Oba of Benin. Twirling of ebon is never a part of marriage ceremony. In response to this public announcement, Mr. Izadawa humbly apologizes to the Royal Court of the Oba of Benin for ignorantly sampling the royal scepter, Eben, during his traditional marriage. The Oba of Benin words is final, he said. For the last seven years of my life, I have dedicated myself to the service of this land and the Royal Court of His Majesty. I have always believed that every Edo man must stand firmly for the protection of our traditional institutions and cultural tenets. I also sincerely understand that sometimes passion can be misleading and actions can be taken with the purest and utmost sincerity and become abominable," he stated. Please sit down and watch the full video as Mr. Rizadawa responds. The incense of doing this video today is to apologize for the abominable act that I ignorantly committed. For the last seven years of my life, I have dedicated it to the service of this land and to the royal court of his royal majesty. I have always believed that every Edo man must stand firmly for the protection of our traditional institutions and cultural tenets. I also sincerely do understand that sometimes passion can be misleading and actions can be taken with the purest and of utmost sincerity and becomes abominable. On the 23rd of August was my traditional marriage. It was the best time and best day of my life to further display the rich cultural heritage of my land, the great Benin Kingdom. So on that said day, I felt that displaying of a Ben was not abominable 
And if I had knew that it is an abomination when you are not a chief or you've not been bestowed or given the right by His Royal Majesty to possess an Eben, it is a capital crime to display it. And it is in the full trueness of my heart believing that I was propagating not for cultural activity I committed that abominable act. I want to at this very moment humbly seek for forgiveness from the royal court of the Oba of Benin, from the Benin Traditional Council, and all sons and daughters of Benin Kingdom generally. Eternal Edo, Arasedo Edo Ere. It means that no one truly understands the deepness of what it takes to be an Edoma. That is what I am seeking for forgiveness for. Though I have been a good student of the history of this land, but there is still so much to learn. These old episodes has taught me that I should seek more knowledge acquire more knowledge to be better informed to be a true ambassador of the kingdom home and abroad so Iwunita Mirima His Royal Majesty Obaiwari II the Obar of Benin that Agewiwu so my marriage was not loud, not mere. The pleading I am pleading for I to be forgiven of the misdeeds. I completely take all the blames. It is not in my trueness of personality to go against what the palace has said. Although there are so many things that I would have loved to talk about, but the palace is always right. I know that as a Benin son. I will do all the necessary atonement should in case it is required of me to publicly because I'm a Benin man when we cross the line we must atone for it I love this land I love this kingdom and I love the palace of his royal majesty. Protecting the interest of the palace has been my sole duty for the past seven years. This whole episode will even make that my duty to the palace even stronger and more firm. I know a whole lot of persons who in course of me defending the kingdom who want to take advantage of this moment to spite me. I'm a strong-willed human. Situations don't make me. I make situations. I am going to keep fighting and defending the kingdom just in case you think I'm going to be having a double thought. 
it is my duty as an Edoma to stand for at all times, either in the, in, the, in the place of my convenience or not. My loyalty and servitude to His Royal Majesty as His humble servant can never be questioned. Not because of these wrongdoing that I did out of Amai Wanse Omomoehi Nalao Inya Ninya Nane Gwai Mi Mione Obo Nilao the Maguas that do not say, Neguaye, we may have a bo. Ovia Guaye. So I should be forgiven. I plead for leniency. I plead to be forgiven for my wrongdoings. In the spirit of the celebration of His Royal Majesty on the seventh, on the seventh year coronation anniversary, I know that His Royal Majesty is the Father. For all, he will definitely forgive his son, as I will do everything humanly possible to ensure that this land is protected. It is my duty to the land and to the throne. I don't have much to say anymore, but this has taught me a lot. And God and our ancestors see my purity. I have never used the palace to lie. I have never used the palace to create wealth for myself. I have uphold the very essence of what makes me a being man. One mistake should not be used against me. I'm wrong and I plead for leniency. These are what I have come to ask from the Royal Court of the Obara Benin, the Benin Traditional Council, as well as all the good sentences in the Patriot of this land. I'm going to talk to you. He said,